Welcome back, everybody. You know, tuna tops are the most, the must, the most must have item. Easy for me to say. The most must have item are hard. Words are hard. <laughs> but the must have item for spring and yeah. summer and yeah. all the festivals that are coming up. And Orly Shani is here to show us how we can Love make this. our own and not have to go out and spend a gazillion dollars. That's right. Super easy. You know, this particular style I didn't think of until I wore, I wore something on the show recently and I posted it to my Instagram oh. and I got such an intense feedback. It was this particular well, one that I wore. We all on set were going, Orly, you so look yeah. great. Like, thought yeah. it was really, because yeah. cool it was just a, dif vibe. a different piece, something a little different. Mm -hmm. The fact that it was open, the big tie, the turtleneck, like, yeah. Everyone loved it. I got a lot of messages and a lot of comments saying, how do we make it? How do we make it? So I was really excited when I realized I could actually do it. Because sometimes <laughs> certain things are beyond, certain pattern making Just is beyond my calls. ability. No, and I saw you actually do it yeah. like this, this morning. morning. Right? I know, it's very but, cool. Can I ask you, the fabric though? Because there's different kinds. Yeah. What do you recommend? Yeah, that's a great question because uh, there's two things to consider. If you're doing a stretch fabric, you have a little bit more flexibility mm -hmm. because the turtleneck can squeeze over your head. If you're not doing mm -hmm. stretch, you need to make sure that the circumference of your turtleneck is going to be big enough not. to fit. Your head. Right. Or you can do what I did here, which was you can leave one side split open and it'll kind of like fold over. Oh, uh -huh. cute. That's one thing. Also, because this is something that's being worn over your clothing, right. consider colors that work with your vibe. Like, okay. what colors do you generally wear? What's going to blend really well sure. with your wardrobe? Don't wear something that's so intense that it clashes with everything else. Right, exactly. So yeah. pick a color that, that fits your and vibe. And you okay. know what else? I thought this is so great for ladies that go out wearing their exercise pants. Yeah. And you don't always want to have the front or the back showing you, like, yeah. cover that's up. A, yeah, so that's this true. is a great That's a great thing. idea, yeah. yeah. For yeah. Uh, covering workout clothes if you're yeah. running errands or yeah. even a That's beach cover up. It's so really, really okay, cool. Okay, so how do we make this? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is make your pattern. Now, I just wanna show you. Bless you, Excuse can. me. This is the pattern. Oh my, oh God. my God, like you a just robot. You, you this just, is it. Uh, yeah, bless you. A, you Sorry. just drew an She's outline a of uh, a bottle out of Kim's uh, white cabinet. <laughs> is that what that is? I went over there late last night. It was. It, it, that's all nice. it was an interesting evening. Um, nice. So yeah, this is our this is our pattern. So I there's mean, it is. It only a few measurements you need to consider. This is the width of our turtleneck. Yeah, right, so if easy. it's not stretch fabric, make sure that it's big enough. This is obviously gonna be double. For your um, This I had to fold down, so that's why it's really tall, because I wanted a clean edge on the inside. Uh, okay. So that's why it's really long. This here, this dimension from here to here, is here, if you can show me. Your shoulders. Right here. Smart. So this, here. take your measuring tape, mark from here to here. Mine was 14 inches. That's what it is. So shoulder to All shoulder or down. inside of your where, shoulder? Where you want it to end. Okay. So I yeah. wanted mine to come right here. So okay, when that's you put your you measuring tape, decide shoulder. on that length. That is what it is all the way down. It's the exact same dimension. Okay. Give yourself one inch of seam allowance. So that would be one inch I, on the inside. So this is 16 across. I imagine across. If that went too far, it'd look a little bit Rambo. But, look, yeah, yeah. but right? no, really, no, look like look. Debbie. She has great shoulders. So go in. No, no, I'm That's saying, what he's saying. Too far, That's if it goes what he, too yeah. far, it hangs out here, it becomes like, almost like a costume. Yes. You don't want to, you don't look like your shoulder pads. To be, yeah. to be on yeah. the more oh, feminine yeah. side, you're going to want to inch in yeah. for sure. Um, if you want a little more athletic vibe, you can inch out. That is totally up to you, but that is the measurement all the way down. Okay. okay. So that's your pattern. Wow. Then you also Two need to make one for your belt, oh. and that's going to be half the width. So this is double because our belt is double. So right. we have this is two inches. I cut it on the fold. So let's take a look. I got working on this camel colored one earlier. So there it is. There's my pattern laying on my fabric. My fabric is double. That way I cut out a front and a back. All I'm doing is following my pattern exactly because I've already given myself seam allowance. Right. There it is. Now I'm pinning together my shoulders and my turtleneck. That's the only seam in this entire thing. So now I'm sewing down one side of my neck over to my shoulder, the other side of my neck over to my shoulder. And now I've got the basic structure. So here is my belt. I folded my fabric in half and I'm laying the belt on it and pinning it into place evenly all the way across. When you're making a belt, you sew it together and flip it inside out, so that's why we need double the fabric. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just one straight stitch all the way down. This is gonna create my belt. And now I put a safety pin on the end, and I push the safety pin inside and slowly inch it down. Oh. You inch, 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 slide. Inch, inch, oh, inch, nice. slide. This is how we're gonna flip it inside out so that we have a clean, nice. finished belt. So see, look, now it's coming out. I just slide it, it keeps pulling out. <laughs> the crew was like, what is happening? And there it is. So now I'm just gonna slip it on and make sure it works. It goes right over my head. Oh, perfect. There it is. And now I decided where the belt was. I wanted a true waist, so I measured and, and made a mark of where I wanted it. 
And that's what I did here. I attached the belt to the side. But it's right? really beautiful. But it looks so chic. Thank you. It does. So this but is Orly, the belt. But Orly, do you have to use this belt, or could you use like our um, makeup artist Christy is um, around today with a oh, big right. wide? Yeah, you can right. use a contrast belt for sure. But you do want to like make sure here. you do want to you do want the option for this. Okay. Now this is the way that it looks. Our our belt, right? So it's a little too, you know, like it's like structured. A, it's like it's weird. It's like yeah, a fluffy. It's hard. So you want to make sure you go in yeah. with the seam in the back. Back. That way it's hidden and you're just gonna press it and this is gonna create more of a structured belt like this one over oh, here You can cute. see how nice and crisp yeah. that is. Oh, I see now I'm just gonna do it uh, show you guys really really fast because we're almost out leopard. of time here if you do want to use fabric glue you're going to flip it inside out. This is a little short top version of it. And exactly where I did my seams for the stitching is where I'm going to put my glue. Make a very straight line because this is your seam. Interesting. So here we go. I'm just going to push it down. Wow. And you this can dry clean seam. it and it'd be fine. Yep. And now I do it here. So anywhere that you did the sewing, you can do it with fabric glue. The only thing I would say is it's going to be a little difficult to hem everything. It'll just take some time. So maybe try to use a fabric that cuts clean. Yeah. As so how would you, what would you wear this over? This is this is totally up to you. I wore the other version over jeans and a blouse with the fishnets. Yeah. This I'm wearing with leather, leather. and a black yeah. blouse. You can wear it over a breezy would you, dress. Would you always do true waist or would you uh, yes. always take yes. true waist? I would with do true it. waist. Otherwise this starts to weird. become a little yeah. laggy. Yeah. So I would do true, true waist. waist. For okay. sure. Super. How much would it cost? This is just a yard and a half to two yards of fabric. Times whatever your fabric is. So Perfect. anywhere from ten to fifty dollars if you want nice fabric. That is 